Time to play with some clay. Okay, I know it may be hard to see because I'm working at my computer table and I got all my lights off except for one lamp. But I've been working here tonight trying to figure out positioning of horses as they're running or galloping, full gallop, um, and trying to work out a scenario for the uh, battle going on behind uh, this warrior that's being chased. And... Uh, Put these aside. I got one more horse to do. And I've taken it off of a photograph that I've got uh, on my computer. And uh, it's not my favorite pose for a horse. It looks kind of like he's... doesn't look like he's really running. Anyway, I'm going to continue looking through all my photographs here. And I'll be right back. All right, this is uh, the way I've worked out this one. So that makes, uh, I've got three different horse positions going on here. And uh, sometimes when horses run together, they get in unison, unison in their movements. And uh, so I'm just trying to guess what, I, what the horses would be doing. And I'll work out the, uh, the Positioning of the horse is even better once I get him mounted onto a base. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm trying to figure out how to arrange these horses in a, in a base that I can work on each horse separately. And I, I want to have them coming down like they're coming down a hill. I can't find my darn hammer. Oh, there it is. Hidden behind my clay pot. <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to give a, a slight curve to this uh, really thick copper tubing. I need some support, and then I got to figure out how I'm going to attach the horses to this. Hmm. All right, I'm going to be working on that idea for a while, and it's not worth camera time, so I'm just going to come back in a few minutes and show you if I come up with some kind of solution. <laughs> to this thing, this problem I've got. All right. I don't know what it is out there, but there's a uh, vulture-looking like bird, a bunch of ravens, and they're feeding on something out there in that field next to my studio. I hope it's not one of the deer that died. Or I hope it wasn't one of the deer that... Uh, wander around this yard. The magpies are trying to get in on a meal. Anyway, that's what's happening next to me. <laughs> oh, man. All right, what I do is I took uh, this copper support for the base of the two horses uh, coming up behind the other warrior. I'm going to have another piece of wood coming down off of this. Uh, and continue on to a board in front. I don't know how close I'm going to have everybody, but I got to go out and cut this piece of wood, and uh, I need to cut a base, a full base piece of wood, and we'll see what we can do after that. I'm thinking about this long of a p uh, board for the base, and I can always add to it if I have to. Now 
I gotta decide which horse is gonna be in the lead. I gotta anchor this to, to this board. I'm going to put two screws right next to the uh, copper tubing. This will anchor the copper tubing into the uh, wood. I could glue it, but I don't. This works just as easy and it's quicker. Glue, I'd have to wait. Let's not go anywhere. Okay, I gotta... I'm going to figure out how I'm going to arrange these horses now. Oh, the big bird is left out there. I don't know if I like those movements. It doesn't look strong enough. This one does. He'll be completely off the ground. This one might be better here in the front. Okay, I got the first horse positioned. And uh, I've got I'm gonna have him at a tilt like he's changing directions. And uh Got to anchor his feet 
down, but I gotta leave enough room for the hoof. Okay, I've only got one of these pieces of uh, wooden dowel. And I'm going to have to go to the store tomorrow. I'm going to have to go to the store tomorrow and pick up some more. So I'm not going to be able to do much more today, but at least get this horse anchored and ready to go. Might have enough wood here after all. All right, I got a, somebody coming by in a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna have to call it quits here in a little while. I'm gonna saw that off right there. All right, I'm just uh, putting some of this monster clay on here to anchor the uh, support onto the uh, horse armature. And now I can arrange the legs to reflect the movement of the horse. And I'll do more of that next time. But that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. i got to still figure out how I'm going to attach those horses back here. What I might do is put some monster clay on this temporarily to anchor the horses so I can see how I'm going to have them. Uh, I could have one coming around like that. So it's just a matter of working out the uh, details and I want to be able to take those horses off. this horse doesn't need to be taken off the base to be worked with uh, because this horse uh, I can get around on all sides with no problem because it's right there in front but the ones back here are going to have to be detached so I can work on them separately all right good night everybody and I'll see you next time give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.